Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Good to see you. Good to see you. Hi, colleagues. We're here to talk about projectile motion in terms of throwing a basketball. Hope you enjoy. We're back on NBC 90 News Physics Talk with Elliot Johnson. I'm pleased to be here with the leading professor of physics at the University of Stanford. So, Professor Jarrett, what do you know about constant velocity and projectile motion? So, all constant velocity really is, is just speed over time in just a constant motion. So, perhaps take a car, you know, mm -hmm. driving down the street just at 20 miles per hour. Well, you know, it's just estimating that that car will travel 20 miles in a given hour just at that constant speed. And I, and I assume that if we take out friction and we just let it travel at 20 miles per hour, it would go on in infamy until it was obstructed with some kind of force. Yeah, exactly. Is that true? Okay. Be go ahead. Yeah, exactly, because, you know, friction um, restricts the constant speed and you, you're factoring other forces, but um, without friction, it would just travel for infinity. Exactly. So, Professor Jarrett, how does this graph depict projectile motion showing constant velocity? So, really, as this basketball is being thrown, it's traveling constantly. Um, at a speed of 3.26 meters per second. And this is constant velocity just because it's traveling at the same speed over time and it's not changing at all. If you look at our graph, you know, factory human error, it is yeah. pretty, pretty, you know, solid, um, pretty accurate, you know? So that's just how it shows that this object is moving constantly over time at 3.26. So does it move at 3.26 meters per second until it hits its top uh, place when it hits its top of the arc? Yeah, so it travels um, to the apex of its, its height um, at 3.26, and then it comes back down. Um, With some acceleration yeah. that we'll get to in the next, after this commercial break. Thank you so much. Yeah. Welcome back. This is NBC 90 News Physics Talk with Elliot Johnson. In case you missed the previous segment, I'm here with Professor Matthew Jarrett from the University of Stanford Physics Department. We just studied constant velocity motion in the upward direction. If you recall, it was 3.26 meters per second. Now, how about when it comes back to Earth? Does it accelerate or does it have constant velocity? Physics shows acceleration. Matthew Jarrett, please explain. Well, you can't really see here because we're having a little bit of technical difficulty with our, vi with our video, but this projectile really shows a sweeping curve motion, and that hints at acceleration. Um, and it is accelerating down back to Earth at negative 9.8 meters per second squared. Now, what that really means, all acceleration really is, is just a vo velocity over time changing, increasing, or decreasing. And Professor Jarrett, it's always a pleasure to have you here at this studio this evening. It was wonderful. Thank you. And thank you all. Have a good night. So long.